Hello, security pros, and thank you for joining us on today's ESA webinar, Alula's Professional Smart Security, the new choice for today's pros. In this webinar, we'll introduce you to Alula and we'll focus on their innovative products like the Slimline Touchpad, Connect Plus, and their Bat Connect. We'll show you why it matters that Alula offers both the hardware and the interactive services all under one roof and how it spurred innovation that's shaking up the industry. Joining us are two of Alula's top leaders, VP of Product, Dave Main, and VP of Marketing, Brad LaRock. Dave owns the product roadmap and will discuss exciting new features and products on the horizon with commercial solutions, including Fire. Brad will discuss Alula's Pro program and the many marketing resources available in the Alula Partner Resource Center, including best practices for growing your business with a cellular sunset upgrade that's been proven to work with their partners. I'm very excited to jump in with these two today, but before I do, I'd like to go over what you can expect to, from today's interactive session. I'm Jillian Bateman, ESA's Chief Development Officer, and I'll be facilitating our discussion today. I'm going to turn it over to Brad and Dave in just a moment, but first, here are some helpful tips for those of you joining us on your first ESA webinar. All callers will be muted for the duration of the session, but that doesn't mean we don't want to hear from you. Throughout the webinar, we'll pose poll questions that will pop up on your screen. Please share your input at this time. You can also click the Q&A button at the bottom of your control panel to pose a question to our Alula experts. There's no need to save your questions until the end of the session. If something pops up, simply pose it and we'll ensure we save some time with Brad and Dave today to talk through those questions. We'll also be recording today's webinar, so you can rewatch the on-demand video at your leisure and share it with your colleagues. Just give us until tomorrow to get the video hosted on the ESA website, and we'll send you an email thank you with a link to the webinar. We at ESA realize your time is valuable, and we appreciate you spending some of that time with us today. Without further ado, let's dive into today's session. Brad? Much. Hey, Jillian, thank you. We appreciate you having us. Uh, we certainly appreciate our relationship with ESA and uh, the things that you're doing to advance our uh, industry. So many thanks for having us here. My name is Brad LaRock. I head up the marketing function for Alula. And as Jillian mentioned, Dave Main, uh, industry vet here, is with us today as well. Dave, it's nice to be here with you. I uh, look forward to the, the, the session here, Brad. Yeah, very good, very good. Um, uh, I thought it might make sense uh, for those people who aren't familiar uh, with Alula to talk a little bit about uh, what we're doing here and um, you know some of the new things that are happening. So a little bit of table setting first. You know, we have built our solution primarily for the security and automation professional. What do I what do I really mean by that? We are 100% partner focused. That means uh, we work specifically with our dealers, our distribution, our central stations, our associations. Uh, and we never ever sell directly to the end users. We, we are specific about that because that consumer experience, we feel like the consumer security experience is best provided by the security dealer. And that's why we spend most of our time focusing on, on those elements and going to market through our partners. We've built an all-in-one solution from uh, sensors to the services and all the hardware in between. But being able to control that solution uh, across that, pers uh, across that uh, spectrum has allowed us to bring a lot of innovation to the map. And we're going to talk about some of that today. That innovation and that ability to control that full spectrum from the services to the sensors allows us to uh, handle a number of use cases, whether it's, it's the new installs or whether it's takeovers or maybe maybe more importantly right now, the, the sunset features. Um, there's a number of things that our solution is able to do, but I think one of the things that I get most excited about is watching how our pros take our platform and our solution and enable new markets for themselves. So uh, most are in the professional install space, but we've seen some start to augment uh, their professional installs with a do it with me kind of approach. Um, and as people get more comfortable with the solution, we've even seen uh, a number of our partners start to leverage the natural um, modularity associated with the system to uh, de uh, develop new packages that they're selling into their base, which makes it really uh, pretty interesting to watch unfold. And finally, um, 
you know, being that we are partner focused, we don't, we don't find our success until you find success. So we invest heavily in our partner support and our enablement functions. All of that is to deliver this security automation and video uh, platform to you. And uh, uh, that is where we spend most of our focus. Uh, let's spend a little bit of time talking about that platform. It's all built around the foundation of the interactive services. Um, we, because we own uh, the solution uh, from the software to the hardware, uh, we can keep that interactive service the same from the phone to the device that might be on the wall. Most of people in the space today aren't able to do that. And uh, that's a very sort of uh, um, dysfunctional experience uh, for the end user. And one of the things that we think is really important as we look at the go forward in our space. Uh, so interactive service is a main part of our story, but we've got a number of things that deliver that story, whether it's the flagship Connect Plus, that's our panel for new installs. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that deeper in, but it's a, it's a wireless panel that really serves the, the best of both worlds, if you will, when it comes to thinking about the hybrid panel or the self-contained panel. Uh, we've been very happy with the adoption here, but maybe one of the things that's getting the most interest in the space, uh, primarily due to Sunset, is Back Connect. And uh, that is our uh, flagship communicator, um, does a tremendous job at capability and, and one of the highest functioning communicators that's available on the market today. And maybe one of the fastest growing pieces for us is our video solution. We've tightly integrated that into our experience. And uh, uh, as we've seen uh, from uh, a lot of the consumer reports that we, that we uh, are reading and sharing, uh, video adoption has been tremendous, uh, not only for us, but also for the market. And we've got a very solid solution from indoor to outdoor to doorbell, all neatly integrated. And uh, uh, that's, that's been a very uh, fun addition to our line for sure. But, we bring all the pieces together uh, to offer a complete solution for our partners. Why do we do that? Um, we know that, uh, that technology is changing fast. We are certainly at the front edge of that technology. And we know sometimes that's a little difficult for our partners uh, to stay in front of. Uh, this is where we really spend a lot of our energy and a lot of our time. Um, why does it matter? Well, um, you don't really need to look much further than uh, what happened with Interlogix or maybe what's happening with the Google ADT relationship. Change is here, change is coming, and it's imperative uh, that, that the pros in the space today, who, uh, by the way, uh, really are uh, core to what this space is going to look like uh, in, in the years to come, um, really should take advantage of what's happening with some of the technology advancements in the space today to keep their offering fresh. Um, uh, Jillian, it might be a, a really good time. Let me just say, one of the things we'd love to do, um, because we love to listen to our audience, is take a little bit of poll along the way. And um, Jillian, let's take a look at that first poll. You guys can see here, uh, you know, change is, is happening in the market. Uh, we would love to hear from you on this. Uh, many providers today solve uh, their hardware solutions and their infrastructure solutions differently. Um, uh, and we'd love to know what that looks like for you. Uh, how many have been using your current hardware less than a year all the way to maybe five plus years? We'd love to see what that looks like. Uh, how many years you've been using your interactive services? Uh, have you kept the same provider here less than a year? Have you been changing? What does that look like? We'd love to understand what those results uh, or what that looks like for you as we uh, unfold the conversation a little bit more. Jillian, I don't know if I can see the results on my side, Dave. Maybe you can. Um, here we go. Thank you for the refresh. I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, not, not all that surprising. We see that uh, most people in the space uh, have adopted a solution and maintain that solution, but many people are um, a, a hardware solution, but many people are exploring the alternate interactive solutions that are available. And uh, that's, that's certainly been a pretty common thread across some of the conversations that we've had. So very interesting and not, not all that dissimilar to what some of the things that we're seeing. Dave, anything you wanna add there? No, I mean, I, I think, uh, as you mentioned, there's a lot of things going on in the industry and everybody's looking for ways to, you know, get their own advantage and be competitive in, in the new marketplace. I think consumers' expectations are shifting in terms of what the world of connected devices uh, mean to them. And we all know as professionals, we've been doing connected homes and connected businesses for, you know, decades. 
Um, we, we were in the IoT before IoT was a thing, um, but now consumer expectations are shifting. Uh, people are getting their products in, in different ways. And, and there's these partnerships like the ADT, Google, and others that are uh, forming that are a lot, uh, forcing all the professional dealers to kind of reevaluate um, how they go to market, how they differentiate, and how they can bring the best value to their customers. And this is a resilient industry, and, and it's nice to see that uh, uh, everybody's stepping up to the plate and saying, you know, I, I own this this space, and I know what I'm doing when, when it comes to technology, and uh, let's go make make some new things happen. All right, so um, we've talked a little bit about the Alula experience, and what does that mean? This is really our interactive platform. Um, Alula is... Uh, uh, one of the newer interactive platforms in the market, and we really strive to make the world of security, video, and automation come together in a unified app experience. And what you see pictured here is our phone app. Um, we can replicate that same user experience on our touchpads, and our touchpads are going to be compatible with not only our own panel, but with um, you know, most of the widely deployed security systems in the market today. We think that consistent user interface is critical, and we think bringing that experience to your customers in a uh, customizable way is also meaningful. Connecting technology to people's lives is what we're all about here. So um, our home screen, our dashboard is configurable. So you can pick your favorite devices to have them show up and everything can be one click away. But Carrying this technology into a unified experience is key to long-term success in reducing attrition rate, and then ultimately maximizing value that you're bringing to your customers. Some areas where we're unique in our uh, app experience. Uh, first off, I mentioned the dashboard up front. You're able to select all of the devices that really matter to you, both security devices, automation devices, scenes, and cameras. All of these can be a single click away, um, even viewing clips that are recorded on our video platform can be uh, scanned through without having to leave that home page. There's um, navigation down at the bottom that allows you to go deeper dive into any single section, but the bulk of uh, your users are going to stick right on that same page. We have a video calendar where you can look back on different dates uh, and we store um, the latest, it depends on your package, but typically 1,000, 4,000, even 10,000 clips can be stored. Uh, and search through on any given day, and it's quick and easy to do right off of your home screen. We have a scenes engine, which uses English language commands to program different activities, whether you wanna arm a system at a certain time of day, disarm a system when a lock is done. It's very flexible. Um, we support Z-Wave automation devices. We were the first panel to be Z-Wave Plus certified, um, and uh, the scenes engine is continuing to grow and evolve. And then consistent controls. I mentioned that where our touchpad and our app have the same user experience, the same icons, and our network is incredibly fast and responsive. So whether you're arming from the touch uh, from the smartphone or from the touchpad, uh, both devices are going to reflect the changes instantly. Talking about speed, speed really matters, especially with the shift in the consumer expectations. There's more connected devices, whether it's lighting control devices, thermostats, or other things that may or may not be a part of uh, you know, your, your, your smart home delivery service. Um, but the consumer's expectations are that when they push a button, something happens. If it's raining and you wanna unlock your door, you don't wanna wait for 37 seconds for that door to unlock. Ours happens in less than a second. And real-time status is displayed through the uh, platform um, instantly as well. If a door is open, we actually change the color of the icon, draw that to the attention so you can see, I left this door open, this window's open. Uh, all of that is done uh, at, at a glance through our app and through our platform. And we've mentioned a couple of times the Slimline touchpad. This is a device, we've won four awards for this device uh, just this year alone. And um, it is a low profile seven inch color display. And it again brings that unified experience of security, automation and video customizable right to your fingertips. You can put this on the wall. And an important note with this product is um, it's got a power supply built into it with a terminal block. If you're replacing a keypad, which we find many people do, 
they put our communicator in on a, a Honeywell panel or a DS, DSC panel or any of our supported uh, uh, products, you can take that old push button keypad off the wall, replace it with this color touch screen. Now you're bringing the world of connected devices and, and tying that technology to people's lives in a, in a very meaningful way. Um, if you add a doorbell camera, that doorbell camera will pop right up on this touchpad. Uh, we actually have doorbell chime uh, mode that can be added to this. And it can even speak. So a panel that you installed 20 years ago can now have audio feedback on all the activities that are going on on that system. So we bring new capabilities and functionality to all of our devices. When we first started deploying Slimline touchpads, they didn't speak, but it's an Android tablet. It has a lot of features on it. We add and qualify and certify new features and we automatically push firmware updates to all of these devices to bring those features to your customers. So we now have audio feedback. We can bring video to that touchpad. Um, we're, we're soon bringing uh, dealer branding down to that touchpad. Our partners' brands matter more than ours, and we wanna make sure that that's carried forward through the entire user experience. So we're investing in those technologies to really make the professional dealer uh, uh, be able to differentiate themselves in the marketplace. This touchpad can reuse the wires that uh, exist in the wall, just put it in the terminal block, put our power supply on the other side, and you have now a seven inch touchscreen instead of an old yellow keypad. Uh, on the wall, and you can add up to four touch pads on any given system, and every touch pad operates exactly the same way. So there's not like one's the uh, primary and others are secondary touch pads, but you can configure each one individually. So if you put one in a bedroom, you can change so it doesn't uh, have any backlighting on when it goes to sleep, uh, it won't speak, it doesn't do chimes, so you can have it be silent. You can even select periods of the day where it's silent. So very flexible, very uh, powerful, new way to experience the connected home and connected uh, uh, security solutions. Uh, the Slimline's been a really fun story for us. It's a nice part of our innovation. Uh, it's one of the things that, that we get known for uh, in the space is this rapid rate of innovation, which is really tied to um, uh, the fact that we've got this sensors to services uh, all in one solution. But CAD M1 is a really important one for us uh, right now. Uh, we've been investing in this cellular technology because it is the IoT technology for cellular. It's, um, you know, all, it's only looking for a small slice of bandwidth to operate in, very low power, but maybe one of the most important things to us and to our partners is that that same uh, connectivity that it offers today in the 4G environment is going to transition to the 5G environment, which gives um, incredibly important today, obviously, which gives us an extension uh, in, in through the next sunset. So, um, you know, if you're uh, moving through your sunset right now, obviously uh, into the 4G world, um, think about installing something that's um, not only 4G, but also 5G ready and the importance of that to your overall business economics. That is why we've invested in that uh, the way we have for our connect line and uh, why we think it's it's so important. We've also started to see that it's offering some interesting uh, range increases in areas where we typically haven't seen them. So we've been really happy with the performance of this. It's a really important part of the longevity of the solution that we bring to market, and uh, we're certainly excited about that. Next slide, Dave. Uh, one of the first areas that we brought uh, CAD M1 was to our communicator lines uh, for the purposes specifically of the sunset. If you are going to take the time to um, move into the consumer's home, so to speak, and install a new communicator, why not do that in a, in a situation where you don't have to come back and do that next time uh, a sunset comes around? That's what we believe the power of a CAD M1 solution really does. Our communicators are a great way to get introduced to our interactive services, fully encrypted. Uh, Dave talked a little bit about the speed of our network. Um, that's, a, that's a really important part from a consumer um, experience standpoint. So we're really, really happy about that. Um, and we've got a little bit more information here to go deeper into the communicator line. Dave, can I come back to you uh, to share a little bit more on that? Uh, sure, that'd be great. I think, um, you know, we talked uh, at the intro about Bat Connect, and Bat Connect is our flagship communicator. It really brings legacy panels up to speed with the most advanced security and automation capabilities out there. And this works for both new installs, sunsets and takeovers. Um, it can be bus connected to uh, many of the widely used panels in the market. We have support for uh, 
uh, you know, probably 80 plus percent of the um, uh, traditional, you know, uh, metal can solutions that exist out in the marketplace. We also have built in tip and ring. So um, even if it's not a panel we support on a bus connection, we can grab the alarm signals and communicate them to uh, the central station. How do we communicate that? Three paths of connectivity. We have an ethernet port on every one of these. We have Wi-Fi uh, on these devices. And then we have this CAT M1 cellular that Brad just spoke about. Um, those three paths can all be enabled. Uh, it will only use one at a time, but every function exists on any path that we choose. So uh, if you lose all of your ethernet and Wi-Fi, we will cut over to the CAT M cellular. You'll have full interactive control. All the alarm signals, even firmware updates can happen over that path uh, as well. As Brad mentioned, this is the latest in cellular technology. Uh, it's not high bandwidth like you get in LTE, but it lives on the LTE network. So the coverage that you get for LTE already, already exists, but because we're using less data, we can be farther away from the towers than you can with a traditional phone or other LTE device. This gives better coverage across the country as Brad mentioned. Um, and when we bus connect, we provide full uh, functionality of that panel. In many cases, we even support the native downloader tools um, for remote programming. But in all cases, we can grab the zone names, uh, users, um, all of the zone activity, and all of that is represented through our app and through our touchpad. And both devices automatically configure themselves based on the panel we're connected to. So you see night mode in the app right now. Some panels don't support night mode. If it's on one of those devices, night mode won't show up. We try to keep it simple and avoid confusion in everything we connect. All of these devices you can add Z-Wave to, so you can add automation capabilities. And the Wi-Fi that we have built in is not only to connect to the network for an outbound path, but we establish our own Wi-Fi network. And that's how uh, our touchpad devices can join and be uh, uh, communicated to. So, uh, Bill had a question out there, is the touchpad or touchscreen wired or wireless? The answer is yes, it's both. It's um, wired for power, it's Wi-Fi connected for connectivity to uh, the other systems. It has its own built-in battery backup um, and it's on a battery-backed Wi-Fi network that we're establishing right from this Bat Connect communicator. So uh, wireless and then wired power, obviously. Great questions coming in. Another communicator we launched recently is Connect XT. There are millions of the Simon XT, XTI, XTI5 panels that exist in the marketplace. And uh, Bill, who just asked a question, is probably sitting in a, in a territory that has a, a whole bunch of these uh, out there. And this Connect XT communicator will plug right into the back of the panel. It can even be done without any contact with the homeowner. You can ship this device out. Uh, Brad, I think your team made a little video uh, here, flip the door open. Uh, without even unpowering the panel, you can pull the old card out, plug the new card in, it fits right inside the slot, the antenna goes along the side edge, you close the panel up and you're up and running on the Alula network. Um, so a very quick and easy path to bring those millions of Simon panels uh, into the new world of connectivity. And then you can also add our video uh, offering and video cameras, and you can get that communicator both with or without Z-Wave device. So you can add automation capabilities to those panels as well. So we really try to give the tools to have, you know, a unified experience and a you know, small number of SKUs to cover any application that you might run into. Dave, a quick question coming in from uh, Rob. Uh, he asks, if all three communication paths on Bat Connect are enabled. Is it right that only one is being used and will it be lit up on the board? Uh, it is right that only one is used at any given point in time, but we will maintain and monitor all of them. Um, and you can actually supervise each connection. Even if it's not the active connection, it can be supervised. Most people turn that off and they just, uh, they supervise the device or home itself. And, and if you ever lose connectivity to the home, you get your notification on that, but you can supervise each individual path. So great question, and we do have indicators on the active communications, um, but we also maintain uh, status of each one of these uh, connections as well in the LEDs on the panel and what you see, or on the uh, communicator, and what you see on the communicator is also reflected back in our Alula Connect portal. So you're gonna be able to see what the active connection is and what uh, connections exist on that product through the Alula Connect portal as well. 
Very good, very good. Um, you know, we, uh, we talked a little bit about the importance of some of that technology, the advancement relative to Sunset. Um, uh, Dave, I see the uh, ConnectXT slide here. Yeah, you want me to advance? I couldn't remember if you had a poll in here. Sorry, Brad. Oh, you're great. You're great. Actually, the poll is right, Dave. Um, Jillian, why don't we slip that poll in right now? I'd love to know a little bit about what percent of the network radios have the 3G radios have you already replaced? Uh, this is an interesting one. We, uh, we certainly get um, a varying set of responses from the audience uh, that we know at Alula. Uh, it typically is one of the things that gets a little, uh, you know, pushed down the road, uh, but it is, uh, it's one of those um, start early and stay late kind of uh, stories for us. Um, uh, I can't quite see the results in yet, Julian. Yeah, but I wanted to comment a couple of things that we're doing, and I, I neglected to mention on our back connect, um, any, anybody who's put in Honeywell systems in the past, you might be familiar with the Honeywell radios. They have a, uh, uh, a little wire lead that comes to a plug-in connector on the board. We've now replicated uh, a couple of quick connectors onto BAT Connect, again, to, to try to either simplify the installation for, um, you know, your technicians, or increasingly we're hearing from partners where they're trying to do contact-free installs given the pandemic and everything going on. Uh, and again, it's another tool that um, uh, can allow people to do a, a self-install and maybe accelerate um, uh, addressing the, the sunset issues that you might be facing. Yeah, an, an interesting population here. We have seen, um, we have certainly seen that some people have started moving, which is really good, but we've certainly seen that some people are sort of uh, waiting, uh, either because of COVID or because of uh, the new installs that are coming and finding the right time to get, uh, get involved. It's good to see that everybody started, uh, just about everybody. Applause to somebody who's done, that's impressive. Indeed, indeed, but there's a really great opportunity here. So part of part of engaging that audience is engaging them before you get to this point where you have to start talking to them about what changing the radio is, whether it's, um, you know, a friends and family, whether it's a tips and tricks, you've got a number of opportunities, I think, to engage this audience prior to this conversation. But one of the things that we are seeing with our base is that they are moving into this conversation right now uh, with an ability to sell through this sunset, which is something uh, that we think is pretty exciting because our pros are starting to, to bring the best of what Bat Connect is and the best of Slimline, for instance, in this scenario, uh, to really move through the uh, move through this conversation pretty elegantly with their consumers, with their subscribers, simply because they're able to upgrade that experience. Whether they're upgrading into a touchline, um, uh, a Slimline touchpad. Uh, experience or even a doorbell experience, uh, introducing video to them along the way is a really great way uh, to move through sunset. And we've made that pretty attractive with these types of combinations. This is an example of an offer uh, that, that uh, we have seen being used very successful across our base at a number of different uh, partners. But uh, you can see pretty easily here that a simple offer uh, uh, to upgrade a system, to modernize a system is a really nice way to not only cover the expense of the truck roll, but also maybe extend the lifetime value of these uh, customers on your file. So it's a really interesting way to kind of think about it. We've seen a lot of success with this. And uh, we thought it might make sense just to have a quick conversation with you, especially in light of uh, where some of you sit relative to Sunset. Uh, uh, double click, two cheers for the person who is 100% complete. That's great. Um, hey, but let's leave uh, the communicator. That's okay. We can go to the next slide, Dave. Uh, let's leave the communicator sunset conversation for a little bit and talk about our flagship Connect Plus. Uh, this is uh, our wireless panel fully featured. Um, and uh, it's one of the ones that's getting noticed in the space today because of the architecture. Dave will talk a little bit about that uh, in a little bit, but by virtue of all the elements, this type of device can be used for a, a fully featured high-end system, or you can take advantage of that natural modularity and uh, really lower the cost basis and deliver just what uh, maybe an entry-level system might look like, really opening up the full span of market to you. You decide what you want on this panel and ultimately deliver that to your consumer. Of course, it's powered by uh, our interactive services, lightning fast, fully encrypted, and really ending up being a, um, uh, an elegant consumer experience due to that uh, slimline touchpad. Dave, let's go a little bit deeper into that architecture. 
Sure. Um, you know, Connect Plus is a unique panel in the marketplace. It is fully wireless. It's fully encrypted. Um, all of the sensor connectivity uh, to the device, if you're using our native sensors, are encrypted. But we've tried to address challenges that uh, we've heard from our partners in the marketplace. A couple of them. First off, we're known for translators. Uh, Alula makes translator devices. We have a card that can be put right inside this Connect Plus. If you're doing takeovers or you're dealing with sunsets, you can leave all the sensors in place and, uh, and add those right to this device. But I think most importantly, we've addressed the architecture challenges we see in this industry. An IoT-centric panel, an IoT-centric world, you want multiple paths of connectivity. I just described on Back Connect how we can leverage Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and cellular connectivity for multiple paths for not only alarm reporting, but all interactive controls. Connect Plus delivers that as well. What's one of the challenges on bringing a broadband connection uh, into a security system? It's being able to move the brains of the system to a centralized location. So if you think of the two types of panels that most professional dealers installed, traditional architecture over on the right-hand side, a can and a closet, all the brains there, the peripherals are then uh, out in, scattered through the home or business uh, over a bus connection. And then a wireless self-contained panel on the left where you have everything built in one and it's built for volume installs. I don't, I have more sales than I have technicians. So I wanna go with a self-contained system versus a kind of a lineup from a, 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 a availability standpoint. We're bringing the best of both of those worlds into the Connect Plus architecture. The brains are central. It's hidden. You, you can put it in a closet. You can hang it on a wall. Typically, it's put right down a couple feet away from the, uh, the router or broadband access into the home. You can add a cellular card to it if you want. And you now have a dual path system with fully encrypted sensors. And you still have that seven inch touchscreen that can speak that you can hang on the wall in the front door. As a matter of fact, you can hang two of them or three of them or four of them and bring all the value that you that dealers that put traditional systems in uh, can get in a wireless technology, but you get the advantages of the speed of install of wireless. As a matter of fact, you can put an entire Connect Plus system in without any tools. Our door window sensors and our motions come with high bond double, double back tape. Our uh, slimline touchpad can be natively installed on a countertop with a very good table base. And the panel itself, you can set in a counter, plug it into power, plug it into your router, and you're up and running. And the modularity gives flexibility to really create a good, better, best offering that allows you to be competitive in the marketplace. Because you can do an IP-only connection. Not only does that save you money up front on a sell card, but it also saves you money on an ongoing basis because the recurring revenue fee is lower if you go broadband only. So this allows you to be competitive and take advantage of all the things that this industry has learned over the past three decades. Modularity brings complexity. It takes time to learn. What are the different cards? Do I have the right parts in the product? Um, are my technicians trained? Well, Alula's trying to help on that front as well. We are doing pre-enrolled kits. So um, what does that mean? Well, I've got an x-ray picture of the uh, Connect Plus there. You see three uh, cards plugged into it. Those are option cards. You can get the base panel and you don't need any of those to have it be functioning. But in this case, we've added a cellular card, a Wi-Fi card, and a Z-Wave card into the device. It's done at the factory. They are all enrolled and ready to go. The sensors are enrolled, zone one, zone two, zone three, and uh, uh, four. So we, in this case, we have three door windows and a motion. We've added a touchpad. This device, you open the box, you plug it in, everything is enrolled and programmed, you change the names and you are up and running. We try to greatly simplify not only the learning curve for what parts to get, the learning curve for technicians, but we've also opened the door to really change your business model and help serve a broader range of customers if you wanna do you know, a, a remote assisted installation program uh, or just um, uh, again, if you're doing uh, a high volume installs, uh, very little programming involved or configuration to get these up and running. These are coming out of the factory this way. Uh, we have multiple kits that we're getting into the channel and into the market trying to address and keep total cost of ownership low. What are some of the drivers for this? Again, we want to have a single SKU on the truck that can address any given job. So in this case, 
you're going to know that the the cards and components you need to be successful exist on the truck. You open the box and it's ready to go. Greatly reducing time for uh, uh, uptime for technicians and ultimately lowering your account creation costs. Because every device is remotely managed and monitored, you can also avoid truck rolls in the future. If anybody calls in for uh, my trouble beeps are going and I want to have those cleared, um, you're getting an active live connection down to that panel. You can see what's going on through our Lula Connect portal and be able to change that and confirm with the customer that that happened. Uh, and then as you become more familiar with the Connect Plus product, you can start to build packages tailored towards your good, better, best offering, both on the product and the service side. Gives you the maximum flex flexibility to go to market. We've talked a bit about our video offering. This is the fastest growing segment. We have four cameras in the market, two outdoor, the doorbell and a bullet camera, and two indoor, one's a PTZ and the, and the other one is a stationary camera. All are very quick and easy to enroll uh, right from the app itself. Um, they join, uh, two of the models have ethernet connections, the uh, outdoor bullet and the indoor PTZ. Uh, the others are, uh, all of them have Wi-Fi um, and the other two are Wi-Fi only. Um, but quick and easy to enroll, and they show up uh, not only in the app, but into the touchpad itself. It's a hybrid architecture where we have storage on the cameras themselves, but every clip that it detects is also pushed up to our cloud and made available. Uh, and then our packages are typically sold in a number of cameras and number of clips packaged. So very flexible and easy to bring this to market. And you can add it as a standalone, and the app will do video only. Um, or you can add it uh, to any of our communicators or security panels and the experience is the same um, in terms of how the video content is delivered. And then finally, we do have a management portal. It's called Alula Connect. Um, this is the device where you can create your accounts and most importantly, manage and configure all of your systems. It is designed so it can scale down to operate on a tablet while you're on site, uh, even down to a smartphone, um, or you can operate it right off of a laptop. Uh, it is a very quick and easy way to set up your customers um, and, and manage all of the settings on devices. We can work if you're doing a lot of installs on uh, defaulting some of the, uh, the settings on your panels. So as they're installed, uh, you have consistency on that install, but you can come and customize it through the Alula Connect portal. Um, it does have a, uh, uh, our platform does provide firmware upgrades. You can control that either on your own or our systems check in once a day to see if there's anything new. And I tell you, we have hundreds of thousands of devices under our network and uh, we've probably gone through a half a dozen firmware updates over the past, uh, uh, well, at least past eight months, bringing new features and capabilities to the app, to the touchpad, and even to uh, the panel itself. And uh, uh, latest example, we're, we're doing a lot of work in perimeter protection, outdoor door window sensors, outdoor motion sensors, outdoor strobe sirens. We're adding this layer uh, and outdoor cameras of protect the property before an event happens. And we're starting to bring those features and capabilities and tie that into the scenes engine in a different way. All of these get automatically updated down to all of your customers. Um, uh, without anybody having to push a button if you choose to do it that way. And the, the bottom note, I, I should highlight this, we've gone through the process of integrating with uh, at least four of the widely used CRM uh, ERP platforms in the industry. Um, so uh, we wanna make sure again, it's easy to migrate over to the uh, Alula architecture, the Alula interactive platform. We have APIs. We use the APIs for our own platform development. Those are available to all of our CRM partners as well. We Brad, have, turn it over to you and uh, talk a little bit about the pro program. Thank you, Dave. I actually there's a there's a good uh, set of questions coming in right now. So if you can take a peek at those, uh, we'll save some time at the end here. Okay. We, yeah, we've been getting a, a really good response on Alula Connect. That's for sure. Um, but one of the other areas that we hear a lot about is uh, one of the recent additions. Uh, uh, we did a, a phase two of our partner program. Uh, it's all built around helping you drive more business and ultimately, um, you know, want to reward your loyalty for your interest with Alula. And, uh, you know, we've, we've done some really nice things out there. Uh, Dave mentioned this a little bit, but, uh, and this may sound a little funny coming from a marketing guy. We, 
we um, where we're very interested in our brand and, and bringing that to you, we are more interested in bringing your brand to the consumer. That's what that's what really matters. That connected nature of your brand to the consumer, the subscriber, uh, is ultimately what extends the lifetime value. And uh, we are we're thrilled with uh, what we've been able to bring to market there. And ultimately, um, you know, we've are constantly developing on what uh, what shows on those in, in that portal. So. Um, beyond that, uh, the pro program has also uh, uh, demonstrated a couple of different layers and different opportunities that exist at those layers, including uh, some co-op marketing funds to help you bring your uh, message to that audience. So we think that there's some really unique and flexible pieces to that, um, uh, including some training programs that you'll find out there as well. So we're really thrilled with uh, the excitement around the Partner Pro program. That's, um, uh, let me just pause and say that you can find a lot of the information uh, about our, our partner program, about Sunset, um, about referral programs, all at alula.com slash programs. That's alula.com slash programs. And uh, you'll find all the information you need out there, including uh, information on the partner program. Dave, next slide. Programs are great. Um, uh, the the uh, material is great, uh, but really uh, we've invested in an entire team built around the success of our pros. And uh, that is from uh, when you're just getting to know us from eval, we are there to support you. When uh, you are training up your teams from a technical standpoint or a sales standpoint, we have got a team uh, that's designed to do that. And ultimately, uh, that they're there when you are when you're installing and uh, moving through what this looks like in the in the field, ultimately helping you optimize those installs to really uh, drive down that total cost of ownership beyond just acquisition. That ownership is uh, what really matters to us. This team uh, is constantly getting feedback from uh, the market from their. Uh, partner bases, and uh, it's been a big, um, I don't know, it's been a very well-received function that we're delivering here. Uh, many people are taking advantage of that today. And then lastly, Dave, if we can move to the next slide. You know, the, uh, the team that's behind that, uh, uh, sometimes you, you need content, you need access to content, you need access to uh, training materials. Uh, and it might be nine o'clock at night because that's what fits your schedule best. We've built a resource center that's available 24 seven. This resource center is designed to uh, handle the technician needs, to handle the marketing needs, to handle the sales needs, uh, and really is the place where you can go to leverage uh, that consumer facing material and apply your brand to deliver to the consumers. That's one of the things we hear a lot about uh, regarding the partner resource center, but you know, it's a constantly evolving element for us. And I just uh, left a call this morning uh, on uh, some of the new training uh, sequences that we're bringing into uh, the PRC, the Partner Resource Center. Pretty excited about that. It's enabling some scale, getting you the information and the experience that you need, not only to learn yourself, but also to train your teams. And uh, that's a really important element uh, of this, this service offering that we have. So between the programs, uh, the resource center, and ultimately the team that you can have access to. We're really uh, intently focused on your success, and I would encourage you uh, to check out any of that um, any of that information on alula.com today. Uh, that is alula.com slash programs. Uh, if you've got any other questions, we can answer them here, or anything we can follow up on after uh, today's webinar. Um, Jillian. I we think I'll have a ton of questions, okay, great. so we'll dive right in. Uh, the first one, what makes your interactive services unique from some of the others in the market? I, I'll, I'll lead off, Brad, and you can add in. Um, okay. You know, I, uh, the, the Alula platform, we hit on a couple things. First off, I think uh, speed really matters, and that's not the app itself, but it's the experience that the app delivers. The consistent user interface um, on the touchpad and, and the app itself uh, are reflective. And that speed matters. Um, we have a lot of flexibility for getting notifications, not only of an alarm event, but on specific sensors, a liquor cabinet, a gun cabinet, uh, you know, uh, anything that you want to monitor, that notification comes through instantly, um, which uh, every one of your customers that's, that's interested in that is going to want to try it out. And when you can demonstrate that that shows up instantly, they're sold on the platform. 
But the customizable screen, the way that you can do everything from one page and have that consistent user experience uh, is, are, are all points of differentiation uh, for our interactive platform overall. Yeah, I, I would add, um, you know, the, the experience is one of the things that we put a lot of time into. Um, and the, we get a lot of great reaction, frankly, not only in uh, being able to customize that dashboard, but, um, you know, uh, the ability to get those notifications when you need them, but maybe even more, more importantly, setting up specific scenes to enable experiences in the home for the consumers is one of the things that we think is, uh, is a really nice benefit, uh, you know, arming and disarming based off of uh, calendaring, uh, uh, you know, automatic lights on and off at, at certain times. Those are really simple scenes, but really powerful ones. All of that is neatly sort of tucked into today's app and we get a lot of great commentary around that. Thank you. I just want to remind everybody on the call that you can click the Q&A uh, button at the bottom of your screen, or if you're watching us live on Facebook, you can type a comment in there with your question and we'll pose it. The next question I have, um, are there limitations to which Z-Wave devices can be incorporated at this point? Really, no. If it's Z-Wave certified, it will work. Um, we tend to focus on lights, locks, and thermostats. There might be some features uh, the scheduling of a thermostat we might not have Im implemented, but in terms of changing run mode settings, the core operation, um, if it's Z-Wave certified, it'll join and, and work. And for the touchpad, this question says, um, you say that the touchpad can speak, is there a preset vocabulary or can I type in exactly what I wish? Uh, you can type in exactly what you wish. It's a, it's a um, text to voice engine that's running down in that touchpad. Uh, you can even play some games to see if you can get it to say funny things. I know uh, uh, every training we go through, everyone I've watched, somebody tries to go get creative on that. So uh, whatever you want, it'll say. Uh, you talked a little bit about uh, extending Wi-Fi range or boosting that. Um, there's a question here. Does that pad extend Wi-Fi range for cameras as well? Uh, none of our devices are extending the range for cameras. However, as we probably have all run into, more and more consumers are putting in various mesh networks and, and Wi-Fi extenders in their homes. Um, we test with uh, all of the widely deployed versions of that. So um, we don't have a lot of, of Wi-Fi coverage issues and we do have full ethernet uh, connectivity to uh, a couple of cameras as well if there are any Wi-Fi uh, range issues. But in general, uh, the mesh networks work well and, and that's how they get extended coverage for those devices. Okay, are there plans to expand on capabilities for the Back Connect with the DSC Neo series? I would love to. Um, I talked to our, our uh, I guess I'll call them friends over at DSC. We compete, but we all know each other. Um, and so far, we haven't had a lot of uh, cooperation on that front. We reverse engineered a lot of the other um, uh, panels and have full connectivity, but nothing on Neo yet. We can do a tip, um, the tip and ring connection and we can do key switch arming. So you can do remote arming, disarming, and full alarm notification uh, over our platform. I'm just not full interactive. Can you talk about partitions on Vista panels? Oh yeah, uh, one thing I neglected to mention, Brad, um, is our virtual keypad. So we do full partition reporting through our, our product, and then we have in our app, um, you saw the nice little uh, icon-based arming. We also have a virtual keypad, and so um, you can do virtual keypad uh, partition switching, arming, even programming the panel through that device. So. Uh, it's a great tool that a lot of our customers love is to be able to go in and, and you know, uh, delete a zone or, or change a user just using uh, uh, keypad commands. We can uh, offer that through the virtual keypad. That gives us partition controls as well. Can you talk a little bit about what a new customer would expect in the onboarding process and what would be best practices for them if they were to consider becoming an Alula partner? Brad, you, you take that one. Yeah, sorry, I was just scratching a note on something else. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, the onboarding is, uh, you know, it's really a, a bit of a dovetail off of our, um, you know, the, the team I spent a little bit talking about there. So we, you know, whether you are just getting introduced to us, 
uh, and want to move through an eval. That's really step one uh, after you, you've uh, spent a little bit of time with um, our salespeople. And the eval is meant really to start training you up on what to expect uh, and to demonstrate some of the features and capabilities specific to your situation. Uh, everybody's got a little bit different need. Uh, the the uh, solutions have proven themselves to be very flexible uh, in, in solving those needs. And uh, that team, that customer success team, is really meant to be a bit of a trail guide as we walk through. Uh, that is the, the eval. And as you move into enrollment, um, you know, we, we've got some pretty simple online uh, processes to, to move through. But largely speaking, uh, that enrollment comes with training of the technical teams and sales teams uh, that will ultimately prepare your staff um, for uh, bringing the solution to market. We've got an, uh, you know, I spent a little bit of time talking about PRC. That's an awesome resource uh, for enabling uh, your digital experience, whether you're bringing the solution online uh, or enabling some of your outreach and campaigns, that content that you need, whether it's the product imagery or even some of the language is there for your teams to harness and ultimately uh, move you into market. But maybe one of the, one of the best things here is once you've started up and started ramping, there's a, that team is designed to uh, stay with you and manage with you as you are bringing that solution to market. And uh, in some cases, help you through some of the, the uh, things you may run into in the field as well. So there's a round, you should think about it as a bit of a round trip service associated with that team in bringing uh, uh, you to our solution and ultimately uh, you bring the solution to your consumers. Great question. So when we talk training, you know, I think our minds immediately go to our technicians and our front facing uh, staff there that are in folks' homes and in businesses. Uh, but what about the sales staff? Are there any uh, tips, advice, training that you offer, whether it be in the resource center or during the onboarding process uh, for the, the sales folks of these, of the pros? Yeah, Dave, I'll let you jump in here. But, um, you know, uh, uh, there's a gentleman, his name is Ron Long. He runs this customer success team. He's been at the core of developing the training sequences for our sales and technician teams. Um, so what, what, our, uh, what Ron's um, uh, uh, idea and movement actually here is to uh, enable those, those trainings separately. And ultimately, uh, our sales team, uh, they're an awesome resource for that sales level training, getting them ready for the consumer, uh, the, sort of the consumer expectations of what that, is, uh, what that process looks like. They're dynamic at it. They really are because they are, they are with it every day. So between the two, uh, from the sales side, we, uh, we're, we've done a very good job on readying people for what that conversation is going to look like with the homeowner. Dave, anything you want to add to that? The only thing is, you know, so we, we talked about the pro program and we have uh, what we call the partner advisory board, which is a group of dealers varying sizes. And we use, we utilize that group to weigh in not only on our product roadmap, but on our sales training and other training materials. Um, and even any other participants in that pro program, we do like to have this, you know, we built this listening culture. We like to try to take uh, what are some of the needs of our partners in and how can we help our partners become more effective? We incorporate that into uh, all of our training initiatives. So that's how we prioritize things. Great. Hey, Dave, there's, there is a, Jillian, there is one question I saw pop in here, sometimes a little bit of a sensitive one. Dave, the question is, uh, is there any additional cost on the pre-enrollment? Ah, that is, that is a fun question. Um, so uh, ironically, the pre-enrolled kits we have aren't custom enrolled. It's a three, you know, in our core kit is a 310, a three door window, one motion, a touchpad and a panel with all of the cards in it. Um, and rather than charge you more, we actually reduce the price of those kits. We try to give advantages on our uh, upfront configured kits, uh, again, to try to allow you to manage your account creation costs. And, um, you know, we looked at the market, we talked to people, you know, historically 311s what is it, was what everybody was doing. FOBs have kind of fallen off. We did a 310 kit. We do have several others in the market and they're all um, coming out in pre-programmed and they're all discounted. We do have some partners that will do um, custom programming and there are costs associated with that. Uh, and we can, you know, our sales uh, team will definitely connect you if you have an interest in, in custom configured kits. Awesome. I see one question coming up here on platform uh, uptime and, and redundancy, and I'll just speak a little bit on our network. Um, 
Uh, we do have several hundred thousand uh, systems underneath our network today. Um, we, uh, uh, this is a, a cloud uh, hosted platform with redundancy uh, built into it. There's redundancy on all of the, the service offerings that uh, we have, even redundancy and communications down on our communicators. So we, we fully believe in that. Um, I don't have the latest stats, but I think we're running uh, right around what we call uh, four nines, three and a half nines, 99.9 uh, .9 and change uh, percent uh, uptime. Um, if we look over the past uh, year, I'd have to check with Ron on the, the specifics. Um, but in terms of uh, uptime and availability, uh, it is a, a highly available platform. Um, and we uh, also, again, maintain multiple paths of, of connectivity and real-time notifications on uh, outages of, of not only the platform, but any individual device. So you can get that uh, recorded through the Alula Connect platform as well. Very good, Jillian. I feel like we're at time. We are. We've uh, been able to answer a lot of our questions, but of course, um, feel free to reach out to me and I can connect you with Brad and Dave if you have any additional questions or want to run through um, what this would look like in your company. Um, want to thank you for staying on with us um, and thank our experts from Alula for going through the, the program with us. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Brad. And I hope you all have a great day. Very much. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.